poor child's probably stuck in my head because I heard it in the last conversation I ever had with Holly. Not long after, the hotel manager caught me in bed with this Sheila and was none too happy about it. Why should he care if you're doing some woman? Because that woman was his wife. Oh, well, that can be tricky. Yes, sir. I'd seen all Australia had to offer. Decided to try my hand here in America. So you headed for sleepy, bucolic, historic, scenic, poor chuckles? Of course not. I went straight to Big Apple. But it's not an easy town to make your mark in. There's either Skid Row or get out of town. So I went to the bus station, thought someplace warm ought to do the trick. And there it was on the departure board. Port Charles. And I remembered Holly. And I said, hey, maybe it's fate. And I got on the bus. Yeah, but you didn't get off in Port Charles, did you? You got off in Greenfield, which is close enough to do a little scouting and far enough away that nobody would see you until you were ready, which means you were smart, you were devious, and you had an agenda. So why now? Ethan Lovett. And why me? It was happenstance, not intention. It was a designated rest stop, so I got off to stretch my legs and met the lovely Nina. That's my fatal flaw. Beautiful women have always had the power to powerfully distract. I'm familiar with the syndrome. I'm sure. Anyway, Nina and I have been frolicking for a few days, but she had the plans tonight, so I decided to head over to Port Chuck and take a look around. And you just happened to come into the casino that was owned by the man that Holly Sutton just happened to mention in passing half a world away. Wait a minute. That was you? It's a small world, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> man, give me my money. Well, you're still stuck on that, are you? You better dig deep and find that cash, pal. Or you're gonna have to play me for it. And I'm a very hard man to beat. Oh, scratch! You down your shot, then you run the table. For every perfect game that you play, we knock 20 bucks off the 500 you owe me. Let's make it 30. If you want to quibble, we'll make it 15. Okay, 20. And since this is my sixth round, fourth, fifth, that would make it 100 bucks. Once you down your shot and clear the table, deal. Cheers. Cheers. Nice. I've down 20 to go. I need a breather. All right, take a breather. Rest breaks will cost you, though. One dollar a minute. Why do you get to arbitrarily decide? Because I'm the guy who got ripped off, remember? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> All right, next shot. I'm in. Yeah. You know, you got a cast iron liver, or you got more guts than brains. I don't know which. <laughs> hey! There's something wrong. That's gonna cost you a penalty, Slick. You're playing me and you're wasting top shelf liquor. That's gonna cost you 100, now you're 600 in the hole. I hope you're seriously trying to find a way to pay me back. Do you ever get to a stop sign, mate? I mean, really, how far are you going to push this? You know I don't have the money, okay? You know that as well as I do. So what are you, some kind of sadist? I have many talents. You need to keep that temper in check, son. You gotta stay cool, that's the first rule of calm. Never let him see you sweat. 